Hi guys. Hey. Hold on, one second. All right, there we go. Hi. Hey. Thanks for coming to the show. There are so many of you. We're gonna go ahead and get some things started off quickly with a rap battle because we are, you know, fly and all that stuff. So really quickly, if I can get everyone out here. So from you, just to start this really quickly, can I get one, one syllable word? From anybody? Smack. Smack. Smack is the word. Ready? <laughs> You're talking fire, talking smack. smack. Come on, let's get some flapped jacks. I like to make out, I like to smack. Okay, I'm ready for yoga, I got mine. I brought my lunch with a sack. Don't give me crap, don't give me smack. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, now we need another word. Feel free to join in the, uh, you know, the beatboxing because we feel all lonely up here, and really sad and awkward. So if you could join in, that'd be really awesome. You get another word. Ear. Ear. Is it the same person? No. no. Same person. <laughs> sounds <laughs> really like. Okay. Ear. I got a section in my ear. My favorite drink it is a beer. This Christmas holiday is full of cheer. I'm so scared. I've got lots of no, no back. Worst. Okay, another word. It's only one syllable. What? Verb. Verb. Fur, 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 So glad I got out. Like bird. Oh, bird. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay, bird. Right? Oh, sorry. A booch. A booch. A booch. That animal's in the sky, it's named a bird. Booch. A booch. I have seen the word, have you? Heard. A booch. A booch. Booch. That guy with glasses, he is a nerd. I use my ear. I heard. Sorry, I forgot I was playing. Um, so I'm out. Obviously. Good, yeah, another word. Gum. Oh, but everybody's got a helper because she's okay, up here by herself. So Katie has lost her posse. Aww. Because I am the worst rapper. So you guys are now. Katie's backup team. Yeah, got it. You don't have to dance, but you do have to complete the. You can dance. You can, yeah, you can dance. dance. If you want to get up and dance, you can. I didn't want to make you feel uncomfortable. So. Okay, the word is. No nope. word. <laughs> what was it? Go. 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 Start. Start. Okay. A boom boom. I blow a bubble with my gum. A boom boom. I gave some money to that bum. A boom boom. The answer to addition it is a boom. A boom boom. We got nothing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You guys have the unique opportunity to be both posse. <laughs> so you're battling each other. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not gonna split you up though. You just you can pick. Whatever one you like better. So. Okay, we need one last word. Smurf. 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 Good luck. Smurf. 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 A boom boom It's really green, the Astro. A boom boom I kill some zombies with this. A boom A boom boom Nope. Thank you very much. Nice rapping, ladies and gentlemen. So, we are at Liberation. Um, got to a quick start, so now I can talk a little bit. But before I do, because I know you're so excited to hear me talk, 
Rachel's going to talk a little bit about Invisible Children, which is why we're all here. Hi, everybody. Hello. <laughs> I am Rachel. I am president of, Invis of Invisible Children United. It's a nonprofit on campus that raises awareness about the Civil War in Uganda. There's this uh, rebel group called the LRA and a man named Joseph Coney who kidnaps children and forces them to become soldiers and sex slaves. So what Invisible Children does is, uh, on campus, we raise awareness and money to help rebuild schools in Africa and to end the war. Um, like I said, it's been going on for 25 years, so it really needs to stop. So um, we have an information table out there if you're interested. And yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks. Woo! Oh. Yeah. 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 Horrible stuff. That sounded sarcastic, but it wasn't. I thought it was really serious. Thanks. Okay, like I said, we are at Liberation. We are uh, Lafayette's newest improv comedy group. Um, we have the least prestige, so thank you for coming to the show. Um, we specialize in long form improv comedy. What you just saw was an example of a short form game. We'll do maybe one or two more of those tonight, but for the most part, we'll be doing a long form, which is sort of a longer collection of scenes, kind of like a play. Um, hopefully not as many deaths. So um, we'll get started. Now there are a few things you as the audience need to know. Whenever you see someone on stage kind of stop and do this, you need to finish their sentence. sentence but you could use different words like Tomatoes. finish my butts. <laughs> um, don't say butts every time. <laughs> Surprise us with the best word. Um, also, you guys in the front row have chosen a very special spot. Because three of you, if you want, are going to get to participate from where you are. Oh. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, you just pointed. I'm sorry. From where you are uh, in our sort of games. So we all went to like Juilliard, obviously. So during a scene, if you want to see us really dig into our acting toolboxes, you know, you can yell something like Oscar winning moment. So who would like that job? That was somebody loud. Nobody. Nobody wants a part. Yeah. 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 yeah! Okay. What's your name? Alex. Alex? Say hi, Alex. Yeah. So during a scene with a, you know one or two people, if you want to see it get more emotional or more dramatic, just yell Oscar winning moment. And make sure we can hear you. Because I always will ignore you. <laughs> we want you. So Oscar winning moment. The other job we have is called Show Me That, and that's if we talk about something that maybe happened in the past or something that's happening concurrently or in the future, you can yell, show me that, and we have to then act that out instead of just talking about it. So who would like that job? Yes, which? You know that <laughs> okay, Alex, you can have Show Me That, so who would like Oscar winning moment? All right, what's your name? Kiera. Kiera is going to, Kiera, right? Kiera. Kiera is going to have Oscar winning moment. Woo! Now the last one is inner monologue. So if you want to hear a character's inner thoughts, <laughs> yeah, nobody wants us anymore. Uh, character's inner thoughts, what they're really thinking about a situation, you can yell inner monologue. So who would like that? All right, inner monologue. And what's your name? Julie. Julie, say. Julie. Yeah, Julie. Yeah, Julie. All right. So just to recap your jobs, so you don't get confused. What's yours? Show me that. Show me that. What's yours? Oscar winning moment. Oscar winning moment, and. Inner monologue. And if you yell them and we don't hear you, say it again so we can, we can really hear it. Um, and we'll also be calling those things and using the hesitation. So don't get confused if we yell it and be like, you're not supposed to. That's for these guys. <laughs> we'll still also say it occasionally. Um, so to get started, we need Rachel. And to start off our long form, we need to give her some characteristics. So the first thing we're going to give her is a name. What should her name be? Ellie Blanche. May. What? Ellie May. Ellie May. <laughs> Ellie May. Very nice. Okay. All right. Now, maybe from like the back half, you few back halfers, back half of the audience, not the auditorium, because we don't get Um We need an adjective. Sweaty. <laughs> Sweaty. <laughs> Sweaty. And then, just from anybody, we need an occupation. Janitor. Over here. Oh, sweaty stripper. Ellie Mae. Campaign manager. The sweaty stripper. All right. Feel free to take that whoever you want. Okay. You can strip anything strip you anything. want. All right? All right. So, thank you for coming again. We're going to get started. Hope you enjoy the show. Ellie Mae, the sweaty stripper. Okay. 
You get the paint off that floor yet? Not yet. I... I gave you the orange citrus stripper and the citrus stripper tool from the Home Depot. Why haven't you done it yet? I, I just don't want to. I, I can't. You don't want to. I had kids for a reason. It was to do my bidding and my job. You're right. You're right, sweetie. I'll, I'll, I'll finish it. I promise. Hey, uh, Marlene. You seen that new uh, floor stripper you hired? <laughs> you seen her? Yeah. She keeps dripping all over my paint. <laughs> Show me that. <laughs> Go back. <laughs> How can I get a nice consistency if it keeps getting human sweat dirt all in it? <laughs> Human fluids do not belong in floor paint. Well, I didn't anticipate her rate of precipitation. <laughs> it's vile, disgusting, and gross. Bitch, these floors look like crap. What'd you call me? Bitch? That's right, that's my name. <laughs> I know, I hired you. Listen, Mr. Stanleyson. I can't yep. help it. We're hiring too many sweaty broads. And I keep dripping Show in my floor. <laughs> Dang it, why have we got so many sweaty bras? What a hobbies! This is gross! <laughs> They're all over the They're the only ones applying for the job. Well, we gotta get the word out. We, we have gotta... to come up with a new plan. Yeah. Something besides cake. Maybe we shouldn't ask for broads in the ad. You know, Mr. Stanison, you know I like broads. I understand, but this isn't about you. It's not about me, it's about the floors. I feel like you're yelling in my face a little bit. I know, I'm upset I, about them. I'm really, really upset. <laughs> don't, don't cry, Mrs. Stanison, because if you start to cry, I'm gonna start to cry. <laughs> it's just, this is the first, I took that oath when I joined the man's school that I went. This is the first real job I've had. I've had so many odd jobs. I don't know why I have to wrench an orange tree, but... Well, I hired you to do a job! Go back. So that's why I'm yelling at you and in your face. What? You zoned out for a minute. I know. She gets me choked up. I wasn't crying. Me neither. I still aren't. Hi, honey. I baked you a cake. Oh, thanks, wife. <laughs> Man, you sure have tough hands. <laughs> Pulled it right out of the oven like that. Without my fits. I knew I married you for a reason. I got those strong hands. Oh, well, boy. let's have some. Oh, it's fun, Fetty. <laughs> Your favorite! I knew I married you for another reason. <laughs> Show me that! Hi. Hi. Ooh. Those are some nice calluses oh. you've got on your hair. Oh. Thank Go you, back. Thank you. I, I, you cried at work today, didn't you? Ha, no. I can tell your cheeks are all red. Can I set this on the table, please? So he's just crying all the time. Show me that. <laughs> <laughs> Go back. <laughs> all the freaking time. Oh I mean, I goodness. thought I married a manly man, and every time it's just like, I'm going to do something at work. I just don't know what I'm going to do. Last remaining moment. I, I don't know, but honestly, I think maybe you need to find yourself a better man. A man who comes home and doesn't cry. When he comes in the door, and he takes your hands, and he eats your cake, and he wipes away your tears. Your tears. You need to get rid of that fool. I'm telling you. 
I was walking by your office earlier, and yeah. I heard someone weeping. At first, I thought it was one of those broads we hired. <laughs> then I investigated further, and I'm starting to think these floors aren't just because of them. What are you trying to say here, Mr. Stanley Sin? I'm trying to say... Look, there was a little girl in my room, and she needed some counseling. Why was there a little girl in your room? <laughs> Show me that. <laughs> Thanks for the candy and the puppy. Nice <laughs> to have some company in my company van, once in a while. Instead of the lonely days of driving that floor paint around. Now, what's your problem? I just wanted candy and a puppy. Go back. <laughs> I swear, she was crying so much, you would not believe it. Why was she crying? What is happening, Mitch? Something about a puppy? <laughs> I, I would like to uh, apply for a job here. I, I, know, I know it said broad, but I thought maybe my broad shoulders would suffice. You know, we've been looking to change it around a little bit around here. So, uh, so tell me about yourself. What was your previous occupation? Maybe I, a little about yourself. I kind of just stood on a sidewalk and watched things. Show me that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Go back. And you got paid for this? I was just. I didn't really get paid for anything before this. <laughs> this is my first job. Here, I, I brought you my resume. It's only got three words on it. But New choice. I brought you my lunch. New choice. I brought you a picture of me watching things on the sidewalk. Oh, hey. <laughs> doing a good job. Thanks. So, did you get the job? I did get the job. I'm so excited. What are you going to be doing? I don't know. <laughs> wow. Finally, we can have a roof over our head. We can be a winning moment. <laughs> and no longer will we have to live <laughs> in a cardboard box. You and me, babe. Yeah, I really like that cardboard box. <laughs> it had some nice features. Show me that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, a sunroof. Yeah, new hole. I can see the birds in this. Oh, now it's raining. Oh gosh. <laughs> you know, I think someone is in the running to take our jobs around here. What? Not nearly as sweaty, broad shoulders. I'm getting afraid. Inner monologue. I have not had any other job that I could take. Usually I'm just too sweaty for anything else. I tried becoming a priest, but that didn't work. Show me that. <laughs> In the name of, oh God. Brother Michael. So many ropes. Brother Michael, I'm, why are you disrobing, Brother Michael? It's just so hot. It is obscene. Go back. I can see your we, ha we have to stop them. We, we have to. I know we're not great at our jobs, but... Okay, what, what if, what if we fill a bunch of cups with our sweat, and when they open the door, it's surrounded with sweaty cups, and they can't get in! Yo, I can't help it. I have a problem. You know, every time I see those... Astronauts. Astronauts. I just get all choked up inside. Show Astronauts are choking you. <laughs> oh, they're, they're risking their life for their country. <laughs> Go back. Oh my god, I need a bottle of wine. This is unbelievable. You know, last time you drank wine, you you stole that. Car. Show me that. You stole that. Show me that. <laughs> that. And ever, and ever since then, you've been acting really weird, wife of mine. Well, maybe there's just a side of me that you've never seen before. Inner monologue. Well, maybe there's more to her than just calyxy hands and funfetti cake. 
Maybe I'm married too soon into this. Maybe she's got skeletons in her closets that I didn't know about. Show me that. <laughs> So I just so, wanted to talk to you and get some advice. Well, Mitch, I've been thinking about our relationship. Some things just aren't working. Maybe I should have done that too. They aren't working for me. What can I do? What can I change? Well, stop crying all the time. I can't help it. You know every time those Wookies, Wookies walk by out in the street and they're, they're, they're so furry and she <laughs> So lovable, hard to understand. Mitch, I hired someone new to fill. God, you fired me. I. Ask her what he You've done a good job here, Mitch. Because if you fire me, I can't afford any fun fan pick. <laughs> My wife doesn't make any money. <laughs> Mitch fired. And he gave me a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. What kind of candy did you get? Chocolate. And he told me to feed the puppy chocolate. Oh, man. That sounds okay. like a good idea. So I did. Show me that. <laughs> Tell me when you Hop in, kid. It's sliding door right there. Hey, you want a puppy? I do. There's one back there. Hey, you want some chocolate? I do. There's one back there. <laughs> hey, why don't you feed some of that to that puppy? He looks hungry. Okay. Go back. <laughs> Sweet, we only gave you one chocolate. That's kind of stingy. And one puppy. Oh, it's so. Doesn't look like it's moving. He's sleeping. <laughs> Are you sure? Don't wake him up. He'll get grumpy. Oh, it's nice to meet some of the some of my new co-workers. I'm Jimmy. Chad. Jimmy. I'm Bobby. You are wet. Hi. <laughs> he does that. Well, it's, it's nice to meet you guys. Yeah, totally. So. Can you help me out? I don't really know what I'm doing. So basically... I really just know how to... Well, they fired me. They fired you? Oh my god, now you're really useless. But it's okay. I got a job standing on a sidewalk watching stuff. <laughs> for clapping when I clapped. <laughs> okay, so that was our first long form. We are going to do another one, but first we're going to play another short form game, and we need an audience volunteer. This guy, right here. Right here. Can you come up this way? Hi. That way has dangers. <laughs> Hi, pretend I don't know you. Hi, I don't Hi, know you name? ever. My name's Adam. Yeah, this is Adam. Hi, Adam. So, Hi. Matt's going to explain this game to you while I explain it to okay, you. Okay, explain this game to you. Come. Okay. <laughs> it's really cool. So this game, um, we like to call sound effects. And two people are going to do a scene. And at any point, um, Adam is going to use the keyboard to supply some sound effects into the scene. And the people in the scene have to react and justify what's happening. There are some sound effects, there's some environment noise, and there's the music you've heard already. So at any point, the people in the scene will have to change what they're doing to justify what's happening, and I'm stalling because it's really easy game to explain to you guys, but there's some extra stuff that he needs to know. How have you been? I've been great. How are the kids? Yeah? Have they grown a lot since last time? Oh, we're good? Okay. You ready? Okay. I the two now people up. And a quick suggestion of something, of some place you went last year. NASCAR track. The suggestion is NASCAR track. 
Ernie? Yeah, Jebediah? I sold the NASCAR track. <laughs> you did what? <laughs> My pa gave us that when we done not got married. I know, but <sighs> man was offering me hefty sum. How hefty? <laughs> Pretty hefty. Hefty enough to do over because I want a divorce. <laughs> and I'll do you for the money. I didn't think that this, this would happen when I was selling the NASCAR track. Well, you should have done that and thought about that now, shouldn't you? I should have, but I didn't. Well, that's what you get for not thinking. What I want you to go do. See, I already started your car for you. I want you to get in your car and go buy another one of them there NASCAR tracks. I got them all everywhere. Okay, I guess. I guess. <laughs> yeah, well. Let me get this first. Get that. You go on. Get that first. Hi. 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 Do you have a minute to talk about our Lord and Savior? Mormons. <laughs> <laughs> Mormons. Oh, how much I love them, they're Mormons. Come, sit. <laughs> okay. We're conjoined in Mormons. <laughs> we usually haven't gotten this far. Do you know no, no say? one ever lets us in. <laughs> You have an extra wide door. Now listen! This, this is serious. This They're book. making noises. Listen! This book will give you all the answers. To Every single one. Now read it! Will it's it a... tell us where the NASCAR tracks are? <laughs> Chapter 7. Chapter 7. How to bake a fun footy cake. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm on Chapter 6. Oh, NASCAR tracks. Daytona. Daytona. Can't read the next word. <laughs> Sorry. Did you knock our picture off the wall? I did. It was our wedding picture. That's fitting. It was an accident. It happened because of my disability. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, you should that's right, you are. And you be nice to them. They gave us this their book. Can't read none of them my words. Yeah, now you can have book learning. I'll get that. Well, howdy. Hello. Hello. Oh, sweetie, our daughters are calling us on a three-way call. Hi. Hi, Mom and Dad. Hey, Mom and Dad. How are you? We have Mormons. <laughs> oh, no. Don't let them stay. What? Don't let You're an awful couple. That's why we knocked that picture off. It was blasphemous. I think you made the baby cry. It's fine. Be quiet, Jebediah! I'll get him. Give us the baby. It's our sacrifice. We will sacrifice it. I don't know, that sounds kind of crazy, but... This is a good book. It's a pretty good book. We trade you the baby for the book. And we're not divorced yet. We already I gave you the another. book. The book was free. See? So, we're gonna take a few minutes now, get calm, because you guys are acting a little overexcited. I don't want your hearts to do anything weird. No? You want that? Okay. Anyway, so I wanted to ask you guys a few questions, um, because I graduated from Purdue in 09, and it's been a while. You know, I'm... What? That's like two and a half years. That's so long ago. So anything crazy happened lately at Purdue that I should know about? Yes. What? Uh, someone drove through Jake's. You mean like, did they make Jake's a drive-through bar? 
They plowed through the wall last week. Just drove into the wall. Yeah, just slammed right through it. Which wall? Like an interior wall? The uh, the Chelsea Hill side. Wait, so don't I, they have a cart inside, Jake's? Yeah, yeah. Does somebody bad car? does somebody like take that car and try to bust out? Oh, it was a new car. It was up the wall. So like they were in the parking lot and they were like going too fast or what? They were trying to bet too. It was it was an Asian girl. She had a car, her license for two days. She got it on Friday. Drove through the wall. On and it's important so, somehow that she was Asian. Oh. It's that's an important fact for it's you. It's true. It was in racist. the article. Guys, Adam is racist. I'm just kidding, Adam. <laughs> we'll see how it plays out. So they were just in the parking lot. The part. She, she, was, like, she hit. She hit the gas she instead of the brake. Yeah. She reversed. <laughs> into, into, into. Hey, those pedals are confusing. <laughs> <laughs> There's like <laughs> two of them. Yeah. <laughs> And I can't see him because I'm doing this and this. So from, <laughs> from like a dead stop, just how far into Jake's did she get? Did she interrupt anybody's drinks? No, luckily no one died or spilled their beer. No one spilled their beer. Thank God. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Has anybody had done anything crazy this week? Like, who's not a student? Anybody here not students? I'm like, hey, we got some. All right, what do you guys, what do you guys do back there? You're what? You're sort of a teacher. You're sort of a teacher. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Do, she, do you get sort of paid? <laughs> do you have sort of students? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> Where are you sort of a teacher? Uh, James Cologne Winter School. Is that around here? Uh, Stockwell. Where? Stockwell. I don't know what that means. <laughs> How far away do you live? Oh, so it's in, it is in the county, so you, you don't live like hours away and came here just for us? We live in the county. Yeah. So. How far away? Wow. Thanks for making the drive. Can we give him a hug? Woo! 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 So. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, you're Dana's friends. <laughs> well, okay, so over here. Um, okay. No, so um, what, what do you do with your students then? Your sort of students. Uh, I do therapy games with them. Ooh. Articulation. So like speech kind of stuff? Yeah. Really okay. Watch my mouth. Yes. That's fine. How old are your students? Like high school? Um, yeah. Kindergarten through eighth grade. Oh, so you got yeah. a big range. That's fun. Is it fun? Yeah. I don't want to assume. Okay, that's good. What about, who else wasn't a student? Yeah, not a student. Okay, behind you, in the hat. What do you do? If you don't want to answer, it's cool, you can just tell me. I just got a vacation in China. A vacation in China? How long of a vacation? So not just a month, she's like, like a legacy in China. Yeah. Like you can get in because she lived there first. <laughs> They'll let you in. Was it fun? Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was really interesting. Really nice to see how they have the other half gloves. The other half? There's his wife. <laughs> <laughs> and there's China. And there's yeah. China. And there's China. And there's China. Yeah. <laughs> did, did you uh, see the China the, the wall? <laughs> <laughs> did you go to China Grove? Because I've heard that's a good place. <laughs> ah, nice. Did they come alive like in that movie with uh, Brendan Fraser? No, not this time. Were you disappointed that they didn't? That's a dumb question. I don't understand. Okay. I would have okay. demanded a refund. These aren't alive. <laughs> so students. Yeah. Yeah. What did you do this week? A lot of golfing. You golfed a lot. Yeah. Is that your major? I'm on the team. Oh, you're on the golf Sweet. team. Yeah, that's awesome. Are you really good? What's your average? Is that the golf thing? Average? Yeah. Okay. Oh, my handicap. I don't is that know. Good? It's pretty good. Is that a good it's, handicap? It's not bad. That's good, though. Not bad is good. That's the other half <laughs> of stuff. So, like, what are tryouts for the golf team like? Play 18 holes. Oh, you, okay. You just play and then play. they see how well you do? So, how well do you do? Enough yeah, 18. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's, that's probably better than me. Fair enough. <laughs> I played golf once. I played nine holes. It took me two hours. <laughs> that's pretty standard. Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm pretty confident. Do I 
I can play Night Halls and Wee Goth in like five minutes. <laughs> Maybe was, it was Minchiko. Um, somebody else. What do you do? Who wants to talk? Nobody. Right there. I see a hand. In the glasses, what do you do? Yes. That was 11. Recent. What did you graduate? What did you major in? Hospitality and tourism. So do you, um, so what do you do for a living now? Uh, I work in hospitality. <laughs> <laughs> Which side? Are you, a, are you a hospital person or are you a tour person? <laughs> well, I'm currently a hospital working to be a tour. Okay, okay. <laughs> Don't know what that means, but I'm going to assume it's good. <laughs> I'm going to assume you're on the right track. Okay, um, anybody have any interesting stories in the past maybe six months they want to say anything about? How about you right there with the hair, with the hair. and the number four. <laughs> anything exciting jump out at you? No. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, you again, golfer. I was walking through the golf course to get to practice, and there's a lot of Wait, squirrels. you have to walk through the course to get <laughs> to practice? There's two courses. Do you live on the other side of the one? Yeah. Okay, that's convenient. Yeah, so there's a lot of squirrels on the golf course, right? Now, pass them going in, and I'm like, oh, there's squirrels. There's a lot of nuts on the field. <laughs> so when I'm coming back, there's like a circle of squirrels, and I gotta walk through them. You, you like, couldn't avoid the circle of squirrels? No, like, right, my, my little path that I didn't make it much. <laughs> <laughs> Have you worn like a game How path for the, the golf course? <laughs> Encroach on your path. path. Like, as soon as I got in the middle of the circle, the squirrels started making noise and going in circles. So there was a squirrel tornado in the golf course, and you. So have you like worn a path like from the drive, the the tee off to the hole, so you can just like knock the ball into it and it'll just roll all the way down? Because it seems like you have like a set. They like fix the course every day. They fix it. So yeah, they're they're trying. Squirrel tornado. Yeah, it's it. That's it. <laughs> nuts everywhere. Like there are so many nuts in the golf course. Okay, well I think that's good. Um, we're gonna use that stuff you just gave us. Hopefully we remember it. Nope. There are a lot of words there. We're gonna use that and sort of incorporate it into um, our scenes at our next line. So let's just get two up. Somebody else. There we go, two up. And just to start us off, incorporating what you've used, can we get a location? Kansas. Kansas. What was that one back there? Telephone booth. A telephone booth <laughs> in Kansas. You guys still have your powers. You can still use your powers. I think I ran over a telephone booth. Show me that. <laughs> 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 I think you did too. <laughs> I, I just got my license two days ago. Did they tell you which pedal was which? No, they just said they liked my face and gave me a license. They're doing that a lot these days. Yeah. Which one's the window Roll button? Roll down your window, please. Which one's the window button? I probably shouldn't have bought a British car. <laughs> I think, it, yeah. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Pretty good. Great. Okay. Whoop. <laughs> These guys just ran over my Boy Scout troop. I am upset. They were calling their mothers. They were homesick. And now they have broken appendages. I haven't checked them yet, but I am assuming. Hi. Yeah, hi, hi again. Same. Scoutmaster Bob here. Hey, Scoutmaster Bob. Scott. Yeah. I don't left-handed shake, people who aren't scouts. There we go. All right. Hey, so you can let go. All right, all right. You ran over some Boy Scouts back there. I didn't see yeah. it. I thought it was yeah. just a telephone booth. Hmm, there were some Boy Scouts in there calling their moms. Luckily, you didn't make them spill the juice boxes, but you so have everything's hurt good? pretty, no, they're hurt. I mean, I assume they're hurt. You ran them over with your British car. Are they, are they good Boy Scouts? Shouldn't you be helping them instead of talking to us? <laughs> You know what, I thought it was best to stop you, for some reason. Well, the telephone booth did a pretty good job of stopping We're us. We're stopped. <laughs> I miss my mom. <laughs> Amy, it's okay. We're here for you. Yeah. The scout Mr. 
makes terrible cookies. And he said I wouldn't miss my mom because he can make cookies. He's a liar. He is a liar. Bob is still a liar. Huge liar. Hey, Girl Scouts. <laughs> we heard you all the way over from the Boy Scout tents. Crying much? Crying like little babies. Why don't you guys just go back home or whatever and sell popcorn? Yeah. yeah. We sell popcorn. Go back and be nuts. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Sell the oh. oh. Do you have any cookies? Because that would be great. No, they don't come out till March. And we don't sell them to boys. Yeah. Well, we don't have any money. Especially mean boys like you. Well, good, because they're over $4 a box, and that's kind of expensive. Yeah. <laughs> So we're all set for this weekend, right? You just got your license, we're gonna head up to the Adirondacks, we're gonna have ourselves a good old time. Yeah! I just had to tell him I lost it. Gave me a new one, just like that. That's crazy! I know! This country's awesome. I got awesome. an American car this time, so we're good to go. Okay. This just in. Tornado touchdown near Selma Creek. It's headed straight for the New Hampshire Animal Reserve. So if you're camping and you can hear my voice, get to a low spot. <laughs> well, you got the job, sort of. That's good. Sorta. So you're gonna have these students, kinda, and you're gonna be teaching them a that little way? or something. That's cool, I guess. I mean, we'll pay you eventually, and with something, and uh, it should be good. Hey, okay, Pop, the mail's here, kinda. Uh, good, I guess. They have some like packages or, or something. Uh, just a they're little like bit. They're like this. Something. Yeah, they're like boxes or whatever. I still miss my mom. Man, I just don't, I don't know what to tell you. Like, we're out here in the wilderness and you just gotta be a big girl. We lost our Scott Master. Now what? Well, seriously, his cookie sucked anyway, so he wasn't gonna save our lives. <laughs> Cookies are terrible. Blech. <laughs> <laughs> No, we can totally make it. We don't need moms. We're That's your winning moment. We're eight years old. We don't need moms. <laughs> we can do this on our own, man. I got a bike for Christmas. We can sell cookies to anybody. Yeah, except people we don't know. Yeah, and boys. And boys. And boys. But no, we can do this, man. So I uh, decided to try out for the golf team. Okay. And I want you to join me. Yay! Let's do it. Okay, do you have your clubs? Yeah. And your balls? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna need a bar list because I don't have Oh. <laughs> well, what am I gonna play with? You're gonna drive the car for me. Show <laughs> <laughs> Next hole, please. <laughs> Your clubs, master. Here. Oh, with the balls. Oh, uh, can you guys move? I have to get over there. <laughs> <laughs> this is right in my path. Yeah, but you guys are in my way. I need to get over there. Uh, I'm gonna be late. Uh. Okay, you go. Uh, you... <laughs> okay. We're ready. We've yeah. got our hats. We've got our hats. And our straps. 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 <laughs> those are so important. I know. Okay. I'm glad we didn't forget those. Okay. Okay. What does neutral mean? <laughs> I'm not totally sure, but I'm pretty sure you want to put it into D2. D2. Okay. Are you sure you don't want to drive? Get out of the way! No, Move. you're doing good. Okay. Okay. Don't worry, it's just, just the construction site. Will you take, will you take the wheel for a second? It. Will you take the wheel? Thanks. I left my burrito in the back. <laughs> I really helped you learn to drive! 
I didn't. <laughs> okay, I got it. Did you guys hear a storm last night? I mean, my tent was kind of whipping around, but... I thought that was Jimmy who ate the burritos. <laughs> yeah, because I smelled something too. Mm -hmm. yeah, but he's not in my tent. Oh. I heard a lot of animal noises. Your choice. I heard a lot of, like, fur moving around. Your choice. I heard a lot of kids. 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 I heard a lot of cars. Cars? Show me that. Out here? <laughs> <laughs> Um, maybe we didn't pick the best campsite. Yeah, maybe the I-95, uh... All right, kids. Catch your grass. You can't put overnight. your tent in the middle of the road. Oh, but our scoutmaster said... Are you their scoutmaster? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're clearly blocking traffic. We have a fire and popcorn. Hey! Yeah, popcorn. And there were squirrels running around. That means it's a campsite. Wilderness. Yeah. <laughs> so. I'm going to have to check with my superior. Logic. That sounds like a campsite. I am, I'm here for my court date because I ran over some Boy Scouts again. But I would like to plead not guilty due to the fact that they were camping in the middle of the road. Have you filed your papers in triplicate? Um. I, in duplicate. <laughs> Show me that. <laughs> Here you go. Perfect. They might not be the same, but and, they're close. And your third. I, I do not have that. Oh, sorry. I'm like... <laughs> Did you bring the third? What? Did you bring the papers? Third I third. thought this was a lunch thing. Oh, no. Do you have my lunch? What? I don't have your lunch. Why are you looking at me like I did something wrong? Because you did something wrong. Go back. Yeah, I I'm... would also like to plead not guilty to that. It was not my fault. Well, I'm sorry, but we have a very clear policy. If you don't do it in triplicate, you get community service. Okay. New choice. If you don't do it in triplicate, you get immediately put in jail. Just a waiting moment. I can't go to jail? I just got my license! I'm seeing the world for the first time and you're gonna take it all away from me! You're gonna take it all away from me! Yes. <laughs> I don't wanna go! <laughs> so I guess this is your classroom. Yeah. We're decisive around here, aren't we? Yeah, kinda. Um, you got like a board. Board. Yeah, Sorry, I'm late. She's your student. <laughs> you guys said 30 ish so I didn't know what guidance to go. You're close enough. I get... Sir, here's your coffee. It's sort of hot. Oh, thanks. Well, sit, sit yeah, down. I'll, I'll... Do I only get one student? Well, maybe. I'm sort of high maintenance, so I would recommend just, just, just one. Oh, okay, well, I've got some busy work already prepped out. I mean, if you want to fill out the whole page. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Prepping? That's not how this school works. Yeah. <laughs> you weren't like my last teacher. So, what's she in for? Not filing a triplicate. <laughs> what about you? Use? Killing a man. <laughs> oh, that's that's <laughs> trying to do that. Got Mr. Bob. Hey, what's it? Come on, come on. Come on. That is quite a bit different. He didn't give me his paperwork. I don't know. Like, okay. I got enraged. It, yeah, I, that happens sometimes. I I have no idea how long I'm in here for. Probably forever. Who's Ten gonna... years later. Who's gonna take care of the shrafts? Just shut up already! <laughs> Ten years! God, I'm gonna go insane. Ten years later! <laughs> the shrafts! Okay. Ask away a moment! There's, I'm not there to take care of them. And, and, I just don't, I'm so worried about them. They're, they're out there all alone and, well, I mean, they've, they've got Bob, 
but he, he was never very good with them. And please Just please. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry it took me so long to visit. Um, I was... Sorry it took me so long to visit. Uh, I, I can't believe they put me in here for 30 years for that paperwork. Um, the straps are okay. They're okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. good. So, um, do you think you can bail me out? No. I don't think so. I mean... Can you move? <laughs> My boots over there. I gotta go over there. <laughs> this I got. Oh, I just moved. I got over here. I'm out. Yeah, that's a squirrel. <laughs> well, can we eat it? I'm hungry. Show me that. <laughs> Continuation. Um, it is a scenic game where people are going to be switching with someone who then they switch characters. So let's say Dana and Mona were in a scene, and then if we called switch, uh, two people would then come on and take their places and continue the scene as if they were those people. And it's going to get fun because everyone's going to eventually be walking on and switching, and it's going to get pretty cool. So to start this one off, can we get a suggestion of something that I'm holding? A shelf? Shovel. A shovel. The suggestion is shovel. Two people up. Two people up. I can't find it. What do you want me to do? I want you to find it. It's a big thing. How do you lose a shovel? I, I don't know, but I can't find it. Switch. It's huge. I can't. I know, but I can't. I my eyesight's not very good. And it's hot pink. I know. I I, I I'm what colorblind. Is wrong with you? I'm colorblind. You girls looking for a shovel? Yes. You have it? Not this one, but I think it'll work. It'll work. It'll work. Can, this want, one? Yeah, that yeah. one. Oh, sure. you want this shovel? Yeah. 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 We want it. We what want are you going to give me for it? Uh, we'll let you dig the hole. Yeah. Ooh, boy. <laughs> Switch. We'll let you dig the hole. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> now I don't have to look for it. The whole hole by myself? By yourself. Hey. I had my eye on these names first. Hey. I was here first. Oh yeah? I found this shovel. It says who? You stay hey, out of this! Hey, it's the hot pink one! Is this guy's joke? That's the one! It's like huge. But let's use a boat! It's the hot pink one! Okay. Like, if I... this is your shovel, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah! Would yeah. you ladies like to... Yeah, thank you, thank what, you. What? Please? What are you gonna give me for it? I have an pay, bros. Whoa. Hey, these no, are no, ours. No, 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 I was Switch. here first. I called them. I want the shovel girls, and I'm here. Bro, bro, guys, guys, calm it down. Switch. Just chill. I think we should play rock paper scissors. I like that idea. Okay, yeah. Can I play rock paper no. shovel? Wait, wait, wait. You're I... still with the shovel thing. Can I? We've I... all dropped our shovels. <laughs> They're dropped. And you mine. continue to hold yours. I'm she sorry. Find it. I'm sorry. It's we, just. Is this a rumble or what? Dude, don't threaten a dude with a shovel. Oh. Switch! Oh. 
That's our show. Um, thank you for coming out again. It's been really great having you. This was our first show with an audience of more than like four people. So thank you for being a part of that. Um, really quick before we leave, you can check us out on Facebook, Twitter. Um, Facebook was Ad Liberation. Twitter is Ad Lib Improv. We have a website at liberation.net. We are having open practices. If you would like to practice with us, try this out. The first Sunday of every month, which means this Sunday. I know it's the Super Bowl, but. Okay. It's from 2 to 4 in Stewart Center, room 307. 307. So, and there's information on our website if you're interested. Check that out. Uh, feel free to join. Ignore the Super Bowl game. You know, <laughs> it's just sport ball. 2 o'clock. Okay. So, 2 o'clock, Stewart Center, 307, if you're interested. Uh, thanks again for coming out. We are at Liberation with Shanna, Woo! Katie, Dana, Woo! Matt, Mona, and Woo! Rachel. I'm Tim. Thanks again. You can go. You can go. Keep it going. Keep it going.